Hi everyone, it is day nine of our countdown for Christmas and my voice seems to be going away right now. It was really good this morning. I think I used it too much. So anyways, so I did get to the thrift store this morning with my sister. And then we did go to JCPenney's and the mall for a little bit and I found some things for my dad. So my very last Christmas present is now taken care of. So I am going to work on wrapping presents this afternoon. And I also like to get my sugar cookies mixed up and maybe baked today. So that is my plan for the day. Um, it is already like almost time to go pick up the girls from school. It's almost two o'clock. And I really don't have much to show for it this way, uh, for my day. I haven't even started laundry or anything. I just got up and basically got Zoe out the door and lay back down on the couch until it was time to get the girl, other girls up. Got them to school, came back, lay down for a little bit until it was time to go pick up my sister for shopping. So yeah. Oh, but I bought some stuff for Mr. Finn. Let me go get the stuff that I bought for him. <clears throat> okay, so I know it's silly to be buying stuff for my dog, for a dog that I don't even have yet, but I wanna be prepared when he does come. So um, we needed to pick up a collar. So I went to PetSmart with my sister this morning and we got this little collar, just a plain black one. And then this one <laughs> has got black and white and it's got little skull and crossbones on it because he's the one bad puppy. But yeah, so I don't know. It's really hard. They have so many cute things for like curl dogs. But boy dogs, there's really not that much out there. They did have these cute little bow ties that I thought about getting, but I didn't. Maybe I'll save that for next year once I know Finn a little better. And they have the little ties too, I just thought it was so cute. And they just go like on their collar that they already have, so adorable. Then I picked her, I Finn up this little chew toy. Hopefully he'll like this. Um, I know that he likes to chew on things. They say he does a little mouthing, which I'm not sure what that means. But I'm assuming that's like he chews on things. So you have to direct him to what to chew on. So I got him one of these. And then I got him this little three pack of little chewy bones. One right here is edible and the other two are not. They brought one of these type of bones with them when they came, the foster parents did. So I'm assuming he likes these. So to chew on. So yeah, so I picked up one of those. Um, the edible one, it looks like I'm not supposed to give him until he's a little older though, which is weird, so why I put it in here? But anyways. I don't know, anyways. And then the temperature starting today is supposed to really start dropping and little Mr. Finn doesn't like to go outside. So I had to get him a cute little coat. Isn't this adorable? It has Velcro on the bottom and it's just fleece. And then it's uh, reversible, so it could be the black fleece or the white fleece. Now I've had this kind before for my other dogs and I really like these type of things as opposed to like the little sweaters because I find that the sweaters are really difficult to get on them and these tend to stay pretty good. I will probably like take this stupid collar off. I don't know why they put these collars on. I guess because they look nicer but they're always like in the way and they never lay nice when the dog's actually in the jacket. This might actually be a little too long for Finn but if it is I'll just um I'll just hem it up. So I wasn't really sure how long he was. So I was thought it was really cute and Christmassy like. Yeah so I was looking at the weather today like it's been like in the low 30s to like the high um, 20s around here lately which is like perfect winter weather it's not too cold the wind hasn't been too bad Christmas Day is supposed to be well let me pull it up I don't want to lie but I think I was reading that Christmas Day was supposed to be like two degrees like what oh wait yeah because Christmas is Monday right yeah it's gonna, oh it'll be zero degrees 
Negative six for the low. Oh my goodness. We're just going to go downhill really fast. Looks like we might have some snow coming tomorrow. That'll be nice. We have not had like a good snowstorm yet. The only snow we've got was like a week and a half ago. And it was just enough to kind of cover everything. But it was mostly just ice. So the ice now is pretty much gone. Because it hasn't been sunny enough to like burn off the ice off the roads, you know. So the ice has been sticking around pretty good. But everything just needs another coat of snow to make it feel Christmas-like. So. so that is what's happening right now. And yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> and then I also ordered on Amazon, I ordered Finn some puppy steps because our bed is so high. And then I also bought him a humongous box of puppy pee pads. <laughs> there was like a hundred of them for like $16. And I thought that was a really good price. I don't really know though. So tell me if you know if that's a good price or not. So, so yeah, so I'm excited. I still need to get Finn some food. I'm hoping that they can give me a suggestion on what kind of food he has been eating so I can kind of get the same kind. But otherwise, I'll probably just pick up like some science diet or some IMS. I'm not really sure. I don't know. So I'm getting excited for the puppy. So buying stuff for the puppy is really making me really excited. But I should, I gotta hold my horses. But that's all right. So I will check in with you a little later, I guess. Bye. Hi everyone. So today is Thursday, which I believe is day number 10 of our countdown. And it is already like three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, this morning was, well, today was the first day of the girls' Christmas break. So we totally took advantage of that and were quite lazy most of the day. Um, Except for me. Zoe did go Alright, so, um, yeah, so I pretty much was, I got up this morning, did some few things, got Zoe out the door, because she went skiing with some friends, and that was like, what, 9.30 you left? Uh, 9. Yeah, 9.30, they were here to pick her up, so she left, and, and then after that, I really didn't do much more than that, I did hung some laundry, and then I went out for a nap until about 1 o'clock. two times. So it fell two times while you It wasn't my fault the two times though, because my friend kept on cutting me off when we were getting up the ski lift, and then she fell, and then she tripped me. Oh, no, so it was what a calundrum, yes. So anyway, so she had a good time skiing, and then I picked her up from skiing, and now we are back, and I need to get some stuff done, because I have only wrapped one present. And of course, I went to the thrift store yesterday, and of course, it's Thursday, so I have to show you my thrift store Thursday stuff. So that is what I'm going to do right now and just show you what I picked up at the thrift store. And then, then I'm going to get to wrapping. My girls are going to help me wrap. We're going to have like a major wrapping. We're just going to have a wrapping marathon and get everything wrapped, which is normally what I do every single year. Because I don't know about you guys, but I do not enjoy wrapping Christmas presents at all. It is the worst part about Christmas for me. Because of course I want everything to look nice and pretty, but I don't like spending the time on doing it. So this year I did a whole lot of like gift boxes that are already have like a nice little design on them. So I'm hoping to utilize that. And then of course there is the wrapping paper and then the bags. And I got a lot of bows and all that kind of stuff. So just kind of spice up the bags and stuff like that. So hopefully it will go nice and quickly this year. But who's to say? Who's to say? So we still have a few. <laughs> we still have a few items that are coming. Like today I got an order of three things arrived. Tomorrow I think I have two things coming. And then Saturday I have one thing coming. Which is my husband's present. Which I know is going to be late. And he's going to have to open up after Christmas because we have our Christmas here on Saturday, midday. So, yeah. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get into this thrift store haul. 
Okay, so this week I found some really fun things. And of course, I will start with the dishes because I always find dishes. I really, this week, I went to the thrift store saying I wasn't going to buy any dishes. And I went so speedily through that dish section. You guys would be so proud of me. But even though I did go fast through the thrift store, through the dish aisle, I did find a few things that I couldn't pass up. And the first one being this set of two bowls. So the first thing I picked up was a set of bowls. I bought two, they were two for $1.99. I thought that was a really good price. Now I saw these last week and I almost bought them, but I didn't. And then this week they were still there. So I'm like, all right, it's meant to be. They have to come home with me. What I like about these is that they're short and I like the design on the outside. And I bought these bowls basically for decorative purposes because the opening is rather large and it's, rather short and I think these would be perfect for candles I know right or you know they would look really nice just stacked with like something in them also so I bought those for that so that was pretty good for $1.99 the next thing I found let's see where do I want to go from here oh my goodness this is going to be hilarious all right I found some shelf liners from like the 1950s, I swear. It was a 99 cents. It's this gingham fabric, or gingham plaid, and then on the bottom, it has the little flowers. And you know, it sits on your shelf, and then this little part is like hangs over the edge of the shelf. Perfect condition, still in its package. There's two packages of it. And I was just like, what? I was like so amazed to see this. It says 15 feet long. Yeah, it's 15 feet long and it was for originally 39 cents. <laughs> so I don't know that I will ever use this in my whole entire life, but if I ever need to like stage a set or something for like the 1950s, this is totally gonna get used. I don't know. I just think it is the most adorable thing. I've seen other people use this on like, maybe like their um, hutches or something like that. So I may use that for my hutch. I think it would be really cute, but I was like, what? This is so cool. So I was, this is actually in the Christmas section, which I don't know why it was in the Christmas section, because the flowers on it are not Christmas-like at all. But maybe it was just in that section because it was red. I don't know. But I thought that was totally cool. That was like a really cool find for me. All right, so the next thing I found was something that I don't even know if I'm ever gonna use, but it was $3.99, and it's like this, you know, like little, what do you call this thing? It's, I'm blanking right now. But you like crush things with the little thing, I don't know. I don't know, can't remember what it's called. But anyways, I thought it was really cool because it was wood, and I thought it was very farmhouse-like. So I couldn't pass it up for $4. I thought it would be really cool on my shelf sitting up over here with some like rolling pins or like wooden spoons, stuff like that. So it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It looks a little grimy, but yeah, I was pretty excited about that. And I think it will look very, very nice with my farmhouse decor, but I'll probably never use it. It'll mostly be decorative. Like I've never even used one of these before. I don't know what people use them for, grinding up herbs or something. I don't know. But anyways, I'm out of breath talking. So another thing I picked up in the dish aisle was a set of teacups. And I'm always on the lookout for teacups because my daughter is really into collecting um, teapots and teacups, that sort of thing. These didn't have the saucers with them, so I almost didn't get them. But at the very end, I decided to go ahead and get it because they are so beautiful. There was two of them, and I just love their cute little size. But what really got me was the pattern on them is in a black and silver and then it's got touches of silver along the edges and on the bottom and a little bit on the handle and I just thought they were super adorable. So I'm hoping that she will like these because she has a black teapot and I think these will go really nicely with them. If she doesn't want them, um, Mama will keep them and display them somewhere. I just think they are adorable. So I was happy to find those. 
And then another, and then this is going to be ridiculous. I personally am trying not to get into the teacup thing because I have enough collections already. I don't drink tea. I don't collect teapots, but teacups, for some reason, every once in a while, I'll see one that I absolutely love. And that happened to me this week. And I had to pick it up. It was 99 cents. And it is this one right here. Can, have you ever seen such an adorable teacup in your life? It is adorable. I love the unique shape of the teacup itself. I also love the color of it. It's like a blush pink. But then other times you look at it and it looks white. But I just, oh, I just think it is so adorable and stinking cute. And look at that. As on the, the coaster, or not the coaster. But the little plate underneath has got like these little lines on it also of gold. It's got little gold edging. And then it mimics the lines on the bottom, base of the cup. And then even inside the cup there's a little line down just a little bit of gold. And then it's got a little gold on the handle. And then at the very base of the cup. And I just thought it was so cute. I couldn't pass it up. I actually did put it back on the shelf and tried to walk away from it. But I had to go back and get it. So for 99 cents, I figured it was worth a little bit of a splurge. Because if, even if it just sits on our, on the shelf or something. But I think it would be really cute in the spring to bring out and plant a little, little flower in it. Or a little herbs or something. And then like stack it on top of a colorful stack of books or something. So I just think it's so adorable. It can be used all year round and I just love it so much. Alright, so that is it for dishes. And then of course I had to go into the Christmas section. Didn't really find a whole lot. They had their Christmas stuff on 50% off. So I did find a box of silver, silver bulbs, which are glass. So I had to get them. They were only a 99 cents. So they're 50% off of that. You can't go wrong with just your basic Christmas bowls and silver because I use that all the time. And then I also picked up a little grab bag for $1.99. And I haven't opened this yet, but it has angels in it. If you remember last week, I also bought some angels. So yeah, I had to get this one. So this one has like two angels in it, looks like. Yeah, two angels. And then like, I don't know what this is supposed to be. It has this in it. Just like a little pot or something. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's supposed to look like a little grocery bag or something. Not sure what that's about. But yeah. And then it has this adorable little reindeer too. Oh my goodness. And he's got a little package that's supposed to be right here. That I'll have to glue on. But look at him. Isn't he adorable? So I'm going to try to fix him so I can use him on my tacky Christmas um, tablescape that I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I just thought he was so adorable. So hopefully I can glue him back together. He's just too cute. Too cute. And then of course there's the little angels. Oh, they're like little kissing angels. They're both like, there's a boy and a girl, and they're a little white, and they're like kissing. Mwah! How adorable. So I thought these were really cute. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I am buying all this little knick-knacky things. I'm not a knick-knacky person, which is hilarious because I, I like an occasional like knick-knacks. Like, I collect like little dog figurines. Like, I have like four or five of them. But not very many. I was like, whenever I see one that I really like, I'll pick it up. But it's not something that I look for on a normal basis. And now <laughs> I'm bringing home all these little knick-knacky angels. So, I don't know. I really was into angels back when I first got married. Our theme at our wedding had like angels. We had angels like all over the place. But um, I was really into that at that time. That was back before the Pinterest days of... How many of you would love to redo your wedding and be able to do like a Pinterest wedding nowadays? The amount, like I think the wedding decor has stepped up so much in the last like, you know, just like 10 years since 
five years since Pinterest has really gotten big. I mean, people aren't, I don't know, maybe they aren't spending as much, but they're like, it's so much more like earthy and raw and like, you know, it, the, it's just gorgeous decor that people are like making themselves and just love it so much. I should really be a wedding decorator because I would have so much fun with that. <laughs> but anyways, um, anyways, so I would love to redo our wedding and like, I mean, I thought I was crafty back then, but I'm in a whole different crafty area now, so. Oh, well. It's a little side note for you. But anyways, back to these cute little angels. I think they're adorable, and I don't know why I'm bringing home all these little cutesy little things when I'm really not into these little things most of the year, but I guess at Christmas time I am. I think this would be fun even this year. Anyways, I think little classic things like this can be put into my decor like what I've used this year because most likely next year's decor for Christmas is going to be very similar to this year because I really like the simplicity of my decor this year but I mean with just a lot of like white thrifted pieces with a little bit of Christmassy things in and a lot of greenery and this sort of thing would fit right in with that so so now on to wrapping presents I'll get my buns moving and get some work done before I get too tired out and I need to take a break. <laughs> All right, I will talk to you in a little bit. Bye.